everyone, it's Diego Doom here. Today I'm bringing you another review. Today I'll be reviewing SH Figuarts Dynamic Classics Devilman. This version of Devilman comes from the 1972 show Devilman. This version of Devilman also appeared in the 1973 crossover film Mazinger Z vs. Devilman. In the show Devilman, a young boy named Akira Fudo and his father are hiking the icy mountains of the Himalayas. During their hike, Akira loses his footing and falls into a cavern. While in the cavern, Akira and his father encounter three demons who kill them instantly. After killing Akira and his father, the three demons, one of them being Devilman, fight to see who will use Akira's body as a host. Devilman is the victor of the battle and possesses Akira's body. Devilman is soon sent out to spread chaos amongst humanity as commanded by the demon lord Zenon. After living in the human world for quite some time and forming several unbreakable friendships, Devilman decides to become the protector of humanity and defend it from Lord Zenon and his legion of demons. To briefly sum up the 1973 film Mazinger Z vs. Devilman, Koji, the pilot of Mazinger Z and Devilman team up to defeat the new alliance between Dr. Hell and Cyrene, the demon bird. Now, Devilman and Mazinger Z must face off against both mechanical beasts and demons. Be sure to check out the 1972 show Devilman and the 1973 film Mazinger Z vs. Devilman. They are absolutely fantastic. Now something to note, the show Devilman does not tell the true and full story of Devilman. To find out about the true and complete story of Devilman, you must read the 1972 manga Devilman. Since I have younger viewers on this channel, I definitely have to warn you guys that the Devilman manga is for mature readers only. SH Figuarts Dynamic Classics Devilman is a fantastic release in the Dynamic Classics line. Devilman has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, fantastic accessories, and a fantastic range of articulation. First, let's take a look at Devilman's box. I really love Devilman's box. The box has a very nice premium look and feel to it. I really like the hollow foil treatment to the Devilman text and the illustrations of Devilman and Akira are absolutely fantastic. If you're limited on space, I would definitely recommend holding on to this box. Now, let's take a look at Devilman himself. Devilman has a fantastic range of articulation. First, let's start with the head. We can look up, down, left, right, the shoulders have a great range of rotation. The shoulders can move in and out, and they can also rotate a full 360 degrees. The arms can come up higher than 90 degrees. We have a bicep swivel. We have very nice double jointed elbows. The fists are on ball joints. We can tilt and spin these freely. In the upper chest, we can lean forward, backward, twist side to side, and lean side to side. In the waist, we can lean forward, backward, twist side to side, and lean side to side. One thing is pretty cool, Devilman's belt here is made out of a softer material so it does not hinder the movement in the upper torso. Moving down to the legs, we can kick forward this much, backward this much, come to the side this much. If we pull down on the hip joint now, we can get a very nice high kick, kick backward a little bit more, and come out to the side a little bit higher. We have very nice double jointed knees, the feet can tilt and swivel, and then finally, the toes are articulated. When it comes to sculpt and paint apps, Devilman is absolutely fantastic. Starting from the top, we have Devilman's head. At the top of the head, we have Devilman's unique sharp pointed head crest with a matte black paint app. The center of the forehead has a nice dark blue paint app. The eyes have a nice sharp sculpt. The eyes have a vibrant yellow paint app with red irises. The eyes are lined with a nice sharp red accent that comes down Devilman's cheeks. The face has a nice teal paint app. This teal paint app can be seen throughout Devilman's body. The mouth has a simple matte black line adding to Devilman's stern look. 
The chest and abs have a very nice large yet smooth muscular sculpt. We have two red accents that go down the pecs and continue down the back. The arms have a nice muscular sculpt with pointed accents on the forearms. Moving down we have Devilman's belt buckle with a great bat-like sculpt with glossy black and red paint apps. In the center of the D we have a white paint app. The belt itself has a lighter teal paint app. Devilman's briefs have the same dark blue paint app as the forehead. Now something funny to note, if we spin around to the back we can see Devilman has a super wedgie. As a whole, Devilman turned out to be absolutely fantastic. The sculpt is spot on, the paint apps are clean and crisp, and the articulation is fantastic. I really think they completely nailed the look and feel of Devilman from the 1972 anime. I'm really happy to have this figure. Now I'm on a huge Devilman kick and plan to add some more Devilman figures to my collection. Hopefully we can get some more SH Figure Arts Devilman figures more in line with the manga and OVAs. Now let's take a look at Devilman's accessories. Devilman comes with five hands, two alternate heads, one devil cutter effect part, one pair of devil wings, one stand, and a set of steel beams. First, let's start with the hands. Devilman comes with a pair of open hands, a pair of chopping hands, and what looks like a holding hand. Each of the hands have a nice smooth sculpt with a teal paint app. The hands attach via ball joints. When removing the hands, Hold close to the wrist joint so the pressure is on the hand and not the joint itself. Once you remove the fists, attach the desired pair of hands to match your favorite dynamic pose. Next we have our pair of alternate heads. Both the heads have the same fantastic sculpted paint apps as our standard head. Our first head has a very nice shouting expression, and our second head has a very nice stoic, judgmental stare. The heads attach via ball joints. When swapping the heads, hold close to the neck joint so the pressure is on the head and not the neck joint itself. Now, with our new heads attached, Devilman can now express his full rage or look down on his foes with a piercing stare. Next we have our pair of devil wings. The devil wings have a nice large smooth yet sharp sculpt with a nice red paint app. The devil wings themselves are on hinges giving them a nice range of movement. To attach the devil wings, first we need to remove devil man's upper back panel. When you remove the upper back panel for the first time, this can be pretty tough so be careful. Once you remove the back panel, simply plug in the devil wings and that's it. Now, with the Devil Wings attached, Devil Man can take to the skies. Next we have the Devil Cutter effect part. The Devil Cutter effect part is translucent with some very cool frosting going on. To attach the Devil Cutter effect part, we have to first remove Devil Man's belt buckle. When doing this for the first time, this can be very difficult so be careful. Once you remove Devilman's belt buckle, plug in the Devil Cutter effect part and that's it. Now, with the Devil Cutter effect part attached, Devilman can cut his foes to pieces. Finally, we have the stand and the set of steel beams. First, let's take a look at the stand. The stand has a nice, large, semi-mechanical sculpt with a matte black paint app. On the front of the stand, we have a very nice gold nameplate with the title of the figure. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this nameplate is die-cast. I assume it is since it's very cold to the touch. Now something to note, you cannot really see this nameplate all that well. I'm not really sure what's causing this, but to remedy this, what I'm doing right now, I'm actually holding up a white piece of paper so the nameplate lights up. So that's some pretty cool movie magic going on there. Next we have our set of steel beams. The steel beams have a great sculpt with several metal rivets and a red paint app. To set this all up, first we need to plug our T-shaped steel beam into the right side of the base. 
Next, we need to slot our short still beam into the back of our T-shaped beam. Next, we'll plug our clear support rod into the right side of the base and slide it into the back of our T-shaped beam. Finally, peg the articulated neck into the center of the T-shaped steel beam. Now if our base fully set up, we have a very cool way to display Devil Man, support Devil Man in flying poses, and the means to recreate the iconic scene from Devil Man's ending. Now that we have the accessories out of the way, let's do some size comparisons. To conclude the review, SH Figuarts Dynamic Classics Devil Man is a fantastic release in the Dynamic Classics line. Devil Man has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, fantastic accessories, and a fantastic range of articulation. This figure is definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. I absolutely recommend picking this figure up. Be sure to check out both the 1972 show Devil Man and the 1973 crossover film Mazinger Z vs. Devil Man. They are absolutely fantastic. Now, if you're interested in learning the true and full story of Devil Man, then you must read the 1972 manga Devil Man. But be aware, this is for mature readers only. This has been another review by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. To see the unboxing of this figure or the previous review, click the links on screen. Be sure to check out the Facebook fan page, add me on Jimmer, follow me on Instagram, and follow me on Twitter. Like, comment, and subscribe.